Finally, some political watchers have charged the Electoral Commission to work closely with political parties in implementing electoral reforms before the 2016 elections. The Institute of Economic Affairs and the political parties with representation in Parliament have presented an 18-point 18, 18 proposal for electoral reforms to the Electoral Commission, but some political parties have raised concerns over when these reforms will be implemented. In the following report, John News' Prince Minka finds out what kind of support the EC is likely to get in implementing these reforms. Hussein Ibrahim is a political science student at the University of Ghana, and he's deeply worried about Ghana's elections in 2016 without an electoral reform. Looking at what happened with the 2012 elections, we wouldn't want to say we want it to happen again, because I'm looking at it one from the political view because it has to it, it, having a time frame for the electoral uh, issues to be held in court. It 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 is told some progresses of political activities. It stalled some progress of economic activities. You get it. I think that it is very prudent that we have certain reforms, reforms that will take care of this shortfall, so that in the future there will be nothing like this. Hussein's concern is similar to that of the 18-point electoral reforms proposed by the Electoral Commission. The 18-point proposals included provisions that the EC work with defined programs and publish timelines to ensure certainty in the implementation of the programs. They also recommended that there must be a fixed number of constituencies to be reviewed periodically in accordance with the law and in line with the population movement. So the much talk about electoral reforms uh, continues to linger on on the minds of a number of Ghanaians. But the question is, does Ghana really need an electoral reform? Well, I'm here at the University of Ghana and uh, of course this is the office of Dr. Isaac Ozu Mensah and he believes that the time for reforms well, not too serious. We shouldn't pay particular attention to reforms. But rather, we should revise the electoral laws that are already existing in Ghana. Let's get ahead. I personally believe that given the political and the electoral system we have now, we don't really need to have re reforms, uh, as people want us to believe. What I personally think is that the electoral commission ought to implement what we have quite well. The caliber of people we appoint for the purposes of presiding officers, for the purposes of uh, electoral assistance, we need to look at their background in terms of qualification, who can uh, engage in basic arithmetic, who can engage in basic electoral accounting. For Dr. Evans Agre Dacon, the implementation of electoral reforms will avert various challenges the country faced in the 2012 elections. He tells Joy News it is a constitutional mandate to have these reforms introduced into the country's electoral process. If reforms are not necessary, our framers wouldn't have put it in the constitution. Uh, our framers talked about institutional building and institutional reforms and if you look at a major uh, institution will be the electoral processes that we have. Institutions are not just structures. They are systems, they are processes, they are rules, they are norms and so on. The norms decay. Institutions will decay. Structures will change. Dynamics will change. And therefore you need to fine-tune the system. You want us to see a situation where you, you even vote and also have a reasonable uh, amount of time to be able to prepare for handing over. So the transitional period is, is also important. General Secretary of the MPP, Kwame Japan, tells Joy News the party is bent on crusading for electoral reforms. The ruling parties are normally very comfortable with the status quo uh, <laughs> because they are in power. They don't want any changes to what is happening. But um, those of us who follow the electoral uh, petition in court and the, the shortcomings that we all saw that were admitted by the Electoral Commission, the chairman of the commission himself during the court process. And also if you look at the judgments, uh, most of the judgments incorporated in them the need for reforms. And uh, as political parties, we believe that the pinship itself is too complicated. It should be simplified. You know, we all recognize the, the problems in filling the various sections of the pink sheet. That is just one. And uh, one of the major reforms we are looking at this time around is to ensure that the collation sheet, which is the most important document, that every political party has a copy, 
because that is where the transposition errors occur and things change. Governor Japan is also asking the Electoral Commission to be transparent and work closely with political parties as the country goes into the 2016 elections.